I don't even own a waterproof jacket, but I needed one about an hour ago. I think this is called lodging, when the rain beats down your corn. Obviously a three gallon bucket is not deep enough to support a five or six foot stalk of corn, but <laughs> that's what I planted it in. I was just remarking how beautiful this corn was yesterday and uh, how tall it was. The stalks are like six to eight feet, some of them. This is how it looks this morning. Just was stunning yesterday. I'm going to get to work real quick and put some stakes in here. Some more stakes in here. I know. What do you think? I know. You see that little angel down right there? I took that from my neighbor's yard when they bulldozed the property because it was always sitting out in the backyard. And now she protects my garden. Believe it or not, the sun is out. It's supposed to rain all day, but the sun is out because that's what happens in California. Take a look at my camellias. stove has been in my family since 1948. When my mother sold her house in 2007, I was at the auction and we did a last walkthrough of our house, the only house we'd ever lived in growing up, and this stove sat right by the back door. When my father would come in for lunch, 
I mean, the door was like right there, <laughs> right at the edge of this. We were walking out and the man who bought the house for his daughter was standing there and I said, you want that stove? And he goes, take it. And I was already going to have some of her furniture, furniture that she had made. Uh, she was a powerhouse. She made everything, sculpture, furniture, you name it. And I had a lot of that brought out here on a partial load of a tractor trailer, shipping, um, moving van. <laughs> And uh, the rain makes me a little. And so I had them put this on there too. And I used it from 2007 until last year. And I love this stove, but it's time to move on. Our fridge completely died. It was over 25 year old Sub-Zero that came with the house and it leaked through the floor. I had a monster job trying to get that repaired and uh, was that they said if you if you get the stove too you'll get a new dishwasher so we did all that I actually like this stove better <laughs> but it was time to move on it's a marvelous stove and they don't make them like this anymore it has its own light the light works <laughs> I am going to give this away to whoever will give it a good home because I have a plan <laughs> Many of you came over from Doug and Stacy's channel, and so you saw those videos I made when I was out seeing Doug and Stacy. Stacy, I wanted to show you what I got. I ordered this <laughs> from, let's see, this is Black Mountain Products. Stacy was showing me how to do some simple exercises at home to stay in shape. And I really do need to do that because I spend way too much time in front of my computer. And this is a <laughs> a set of those exercise bands. They're all the same length, but they have different tensions. So I want to clear out a little space in here so that I can, whatever the weather, I can come out here and use these and try to stay in shape this winter. <laughs> Today is Thursday but because it was pouring this morning, Eric didn't come. So there is no work day today, but this video takes its place. By the time you see this, I will be in Louisville, Kentucky for one night, and I'm going there to try to meet Joel Salatin. So wait and see if that happens. He is speaking at a conference that my son is attending. I am making the effort to go there on the long chance of actually getting to meet him. And if you don't know who Joel Salatin is, Google it. it, it you'll <laughs> He's all over. And then we're coming back to um, wish my mother a uh, happy Christmas, uh, Merry Christmas. Um, and so I'll be gone for four days. If you've only been with me for a couple of years, you may not have gone back and seen all of my videos. And there is a video that I want you to go back and watch. I will put the link right up there. If you know me at all, you know we don't have that much rain here and I get pretty excited about rain. In fact, I have a rain playlist. I've got about 10 videos on there. A lot. <laughs> because it doesn't rain that much. But the first one I did is still the best one I did. And it was the first time I collaborated and reached out to the YouTube community to send me a clip of rain where they live. And there's a clip from the Philippines, from a, a lovely lady, Anna, in the Philippines. Mumbai Balcony Gardener sent me a clip from her monsoon on her balcony. And Chris Towerton is uh, in Sydney, Australia. Of course, Patrick from One Yard Revolution. So you have to watch that video. It's called Ode to Rain. I love that video and I hope you'll watch it. We just 
<laughs> we just had a flyover and they went directly, the wild parrots went directly over my garage. When I decided to do this setup here, it was pouring outside and I didn't really have much of a choice. I am going to start offering some merchandise. Doug uh, recommended that I have my own late bloomer t-shirt and that is going to happen. I just have to figure out what it's going to say. <laughs> You can help me with that too. What would you like the late bloomer t-shirt to say on it? And this is the other thing. I just had this great idea. What would you think about me having my small batch potter make a few of these late bloomer gardener cups? If you would like to buy one, you could help support this channel. Let me know how you feel about it. If you would be interested in purchasing something like that and if you think it's a great idea. Okay, <laughs> I promise that's it. I separated these tiers last night so that the lower tiers would get more rain and get wet. The soil would get wet because it was very dry. I had not planted it yet, so I just decided to put some of these pea seeds in that I got in England uh, last year. They didn't do that well, so I put in a lot of seeds and now I'm gonna push these down and hopefully we'll get a little bit more rain and it will rain them in. The dirt in this tier was only wet a half an inch down. And you saw that rain, it rained all night. How is that even possible? You can see the soil is hardly wet. Okay, that wind is getting cold and I'm going inside. Ready, set, go, pea seeds. self-watering containers have turned into a pond that is not going to bode well for what's left of the okra. I see I have to come pick up guavas. It rained again and boy is it soaked. I got those seeds in just in time. Thanks so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it once again the thumbs up share with your friends and i'll see you in the next one thanks so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please watch these